Uh, hey, what's up folks at home? Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make a Raspberry Pi object detection device. And it'll play with your cat. If he likes things that spin around in our feathery Raspberry Pi cat, cat, cat toy. So what you're going to need for this project is a Raspberry Pi, a photo resistor, a diode, an NPN transistor, a 220 ohm resistor, a relay, a 3 to 6 volt DC motor, a little feathery thing. We're going to want to use an extra power supply or batteries to power our DC motor because it's not a good idea to power a motor from a computer's USB port. USB port. This project is made up of two circuits built around our Raspberry Pi. Granny, that's my Pi! The Raspberry Pi is an embedded computer that we can program using Python. Peas, peas, lots of peas. We're gonna create a simple light sensitive switch that detects when an object is blocking light from a photoresistor. If something is blocking the light, the Pi activates a relay circuit which turns on our DC motor. When something blocks the light a second time, the motor turns off. For this project, we use a light sensitive resistor, also known as a photoresistor. Like in one of our previous projects with the laser tripwire, a photoresistor has an inverse relationship between light intensity and resistance. We will convert this changing resistance into a changing voltage, voltage using a resistive voltage divider when something causes when something causes the light intensity to decrease when some when something causes the light intensity to decrease the resistance of the photoresistor increases and the divider voltage also increases. We're using a digital input pin here, not an analog to digital converter. So at some point the voltage increases enough for the Pi to detect a logic high signal. Turn, oh no. When the light intensity increases, resistance and output voltage decreases, and the pin will read a logic low. Whoa. Next, we have a relay driver circuit that will help power our DC motor. When an absence of light is detected, the Pi sends a logic high signal to the base of the transistor. The base emitter junction will be forward biased. This causes current to flow from base to emitter as well as from collector to emitter. With current flowing through the BJT, the cat toy motor will turn on. Stay on. When an absence of light is detected a second time, the voltage applied to the base returns to logic low. You see, I have a photoresistor in the bottom of this pegboard here. Oops. Boom. Let's go get our cat. All right. So if Olive passes in front of it, here we go. Now play with it. Dude, I spent all day working on this for you. I'm done. That's, 